Astronomers have detected a strange radio signal. It reaches us every 22 minutes for over 30 years. Scientists have come across a strange radio signal that repeats every 22 minutes. It is emitted from a facility located about 15,000 kilometers from us. Light years. Interestingly, after looking through the archive, it turned out that we have been receiving this signal for over 30 years. But astronomers have no idea what its source is. A strange radio signal reaches us from a place about 15,000 kilometers away. Light years. Astronomers don't know what we're dealing with here. Perhaps it is some new, unconfirmed type of star. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Nature. The first strange signal was spotted in 2022 based on data from 2018. This was done by Dr. Natasha Hurley Walker from Curtin University and PhD student Tyrone O'Doherty. The data came from the Murkison Wide Field Array. A regular radio pulse was received and repeated every 18 minutes for three months. The object it came from was designated Gleam X J162754 to 523504.3. However, the parameters of the signal did not match anything we currently know. Repeated emissions of electromagnetic radiation are nothing new to researchers. Dozens of them have been discovered. However, they are usually relatively short. Most often they come from pulsars, rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit energy beams from their poles like lighthouses. Some spin hundreds of times a second, others even more often. But these neutron stars slow down and as they age and the pulse weakens. Scientists wondered if the source of the signal was a magnetar. A rotating neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field that emits pulses of electromagnetic radiation. Unfortunately, we detected the source based on data collected in 2018. By the time we analyzed them and discovered what could be a magnetar, it was 2020 and the object was no longer producing radio waves. Without additional data, we were unable to test our magnetar theory, Hurley Walker explained. Unable to find any plausible explanation, Hurley Walker decided to try to find another similarly behaving object. And she hit the jackpot, also tracking something that was still emitting its signal. However, his dependence did not bring us any closer to a better understanding of the nature of Gleam X, 
J162,750 9.5 to 523,504.3 Researchers used several telescopes to gather information as soon as possible. Because they feared that the source would go silent again. The signal cycle turned out to be slightly longer, as it is 22 minutes. This object resembled a pulsar, but rotated 1000 times slower. The very large array observatory in New Mexico, United States, has the longest-running data archive. Researchers looked at its records and found that this signal, designated GPMJ 1839-10, was first recorded in 1988, and since then these pulses have been recorded every year. And all this time his cycle has not changed. The source generates pulses every 1318.1957 seconds. With an accuracy of one tenth of a millisecond. In the meantime, Natasha Hurley Walker made another attempt to clarify the issue. She assumed that the source of the signal could be two objects moving in a common elliptical orbit. The signal would then be generated when these objects approach each other, but despite many efforts, she was unable to create a model that would reflect such a situation. Researchers returned to the previously considered magnetar concept. The pulses emitted by magnetars decay over time. This is due to the star's rotation slowing down. The limit below which the magnetar's magnetic field becomes too weak to generate pulses of radiation is called the line of death. And the source emits beams of radiation beyond the line of death. In addition, the magnetar emission should only be visible for a few months or possibly years, not 33 years. The location of the mysterious object does not help in identifying the source. There are so many stars in its vicinity that it would be necessary to involve the already busy James Webb Space Telescope in this matter. It would be a great help to locate a similar object in a less crowded part of the sky. Despite the algorithm created for this purpose, which could be used to search the data collected in the past. It would still take time. For now, bolder theories remain, such as the idea that we are dealing with an exceptionally magnetized white dwarf. Even though none discovered so far has behaved in this way, Dr. Hurley Walker, after the publication of the paper on Gleam X, J162,750 9.5 to 523,504.3 
pointed out that the observations matched a theoretically predicted astrophysical object called an ultra-long period magnetar. Maybe it's this type of thing. Further research should provide more answers.